This time we're looking at the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh ratcheting bar clamps in the 36 and the 18 inch length. Some folks will say if it isn't a Bessie, it isn't a clamp. Are they right or do the Pittsburgh clamps have an important role in woodworking and crafts? Let's find out together. I'm Scott Bain. They call me the old farmer. I don't think there are very many people who would put Bessie towards the top of the list for quality and good design in clamps. So is there room in a woodworker's clamp shelf for the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh ratcheting bar clamp? Remember the old saying, a woodworker never has enough clamps. As you can see, I have a few clamps. I have a couple really hefty clamps that can do just about anything I want within the size of the clamp. As you can see my clamp stand is overflowing with clamps. I might have to build a clamp stand along the lines of what Stumpy Nubs built. His clamp stand hung on the wall and comes out with adjustable clamp holders so that things can be moved around without much hassle. I don't know right off the bat if I will build this unit as a wall mount or as a rolling stand that can hold all my clamps. I could use some help on this from you guys and gals that have clamp units or clamp stands. Tell me why you chose what you did. But with all the clamps available, should we spend $9 or so for some Harbor Freight Pittsburgh bar clamps? Let's take a look and see what we find. These are the five top star reviews. Remember, we don't check for spelling, syntax, grammar, or making sense. Five star reviews. Works well. I was repairing a cabinet drawer. This was easy to use. Great clamps. These clamps work just as good as the expensive ones sold in the home construction store. Gets the job done. If you go to the usual places like Walmart, Lowe's, or Home Depot, then you will pay double the price. Good solid construction. Couldn't be happier. Price is right. Works well. Great clamp. Love this clamp. Now let's look at the one-star reviews. You get what you pay for. The rubber foot on the end of the bar fell off between the store and my car. When I went to take it out of my SUV, it was nowhere to be found. It should have been glued to the clamp by the manufacturer. Bar, not strong enough, bold. Cheaply made and not worth the savings of name brand. The bar itself bends easily when you begin tightening the clamp to apply any pressure. Waste of money to try and save a few bucks by not buying Craftsman or Cobalt versions. Bar clamps. These clamps are okay with a length of 24 inches down. The 36 inch bend way too easy. Had to return. Had to return. Clamp down on 32 inch project and the bars bent had to return and buy more pricey clamps that were more stable and could handle the job. First of all, I did use a couple of Pittsburgh clamps when making the miter saw workstation. 
I started out using my four Bessie clamps, and when I needed an extra bar clamp, I used a Harbor Freight clamp. I could have used these brutes, but they are heavy and awkward to use. So I used the two Pittsburgh clamps when I needed an extra bar clamp or two. After a while, I realized I was using the Pittsburgh clamps over the Bessie clamps. They were lighter and did a good job for the lighter work. I really put them through their paces though. I did see from time to time a bit of bowing, but they hung in there and did the job. Besides the four Bessie clamps, I now have eight of the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh 36 inch ratcheting bar clamps and I pulled my two Bessie clamps off of my fold down blue screen and replaced the Bessies with the 18 inch Harbor Freight Pittsburgh ratcheting bar clamps. The blue screen is half inch plywood with 2x4 framing to stiffen the plywood. I have two barn type hinges attached on the top and then to the rafters. I have a hand winch that came with the house when we moved in and I powered it with an old craftsman drill with a pipe handle. It would fit the winch after I took off the handle. The 18 inch clamps are holding the screen up without a problem. Are these clamps heavy duty? No but they will handle most jobs around the house and the workshop, especially for woodworking where too much clamp pressure can mess up a glue joint. I wouldn't use these clamps for welding most times. They could hold a couple pieces of steel together, but away from the welding, not on top as you would with some old C clamps. I don't like where the release handle is. I want them on the outside, not inside where they're hard to release the clamps. Sometimes the work can get in the way of the release levers because the jaws are smaller than on the Bessies. It's one of the scratch your head things where it would cost no more to have the release on the outside of the clamp which would put the ratchet on the outside too. And then it would be easier to get to the release lever. At seven to nine dollars a clamp compared to 15 for a similar Bessie clamp, or if you're going for the new K-style Bessie clamps at almost $50 a clamp, and of course Jorgensen's are not cheap clamps either. I paid 31 and change for four 36 inch and two 18 inch Harbor Freight Pittsburgh ratcheting bar clamps. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have the big boy clamps too, but it wouldn't hurt to have some of the better Harbor Freight Pittsburgh clamps in addition to some name brand clamps. Don't be confused with the Harbor Freight plastic clamps that an office stapler could do a better job. These clamps are metal and can do light to medium jobs where clamps are needed. The jaws could be longer or the ratcheting mechanism should be flipped around to be on the outside of the clamps. So besides these minor inconveniences, let me say these are good clamps and worth your consideration. Before we go, let me ask that you leave your opinion about a product reviewed. We want your opinion whether you agree or not. Even though this video is not designed for kids, we keep it family friendly. We ask that you do too. Also, we need subscribers. Literally, we have thousands watching. Just take a look at how low our subscriptions are. So please subscribe and do all the YouTube things that will boost our ratings. With that said, let me thank each and every one of you for watching and commenting. It's so easy to get lost in the vacuum without your comments. Thank you again. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well.